Okay, so now we have the Digi physically hooked up, now we need to configure it. So I have a, a USB to uh, serial adapter, these are very handy, keep one with you at all times, uh, that's attached to my laptop. I'm going to plug it into the DB9 here that is plugged into the console port on the Digi. All right, now this is a running Minicom session. There's all sorts of different terminal programs you can use. Uh, so, you want to do serial port setup. Uh, dev TTY USB 0, that's the serial port, it'll be COM1 if you're on Windows or whatever it is. Uh, the important bit here is that it's 9600 8N1. Uh, no flow control. The phantoms won't work with flow control. Alright, so. Alright, well I've actually reset this one already. Let's reset this one again. So when I get this system, it will have a, a password. Oh yeah, yeah, check it out. It's got a password here. Login. Root. You know, I don't know. What's the password? And it's going to give me an error because I typed the wrong password. So I need to press that factory reset button. Hold that down. It says until the ready light on the front turns up. The ready light's tiny and very hard to see. I don't know, five seconds or something. Load up on that, and uh, we should see different output on here shortly. Yeah. Switching to run level six. It's just a Linux box. Sixty-four megabytes of RAM. Because I reset it, it now has a factory default password, which you can find, uh, just search for uh, Digi uh, CM32 uh, default password, and you'll find the manual have the default password in there. Uh, default password is DBPS. So, login. Root. DBPS. Alright, so it let me in. Uh, the interesting commands that you want to know are uh, config menu. Now, I'm actually going to leave everything at the default config, but config menu is one way to change the uh, speed and other settings of the serial ports. But I'm going to leave everything at the default, which is 9600, 8 in 1, no flow control. Uh, this is also where you configure the network, which we're not going to do today, but you can. Uh, it's nice if you have a uh, con server setup. Uh, so, serial port configuration, too. It's all 9600 uh, N81, well that's actually 8N1, no parity, 8 data bits, uh, uh, one stop bit, but, uh, but yeah, I'm just going to leave it there, you can change that if you want to. I'm just going to 9 exit without saving. The next command you want to know is uh, port access menu. This is how I actually access the serial port. Now this is just a default configuration. Port 1, that's what this guy's plugged into. 
one. So now I have to type in that root password again. So root and uh, db. Yeah. DBPS. DBPS. For some reason that's difficult for me to remember. All right. Now it looks like it's it's you know nothing's happening, right? But that's because the server is off. Uh, I hit Control Shift and Six. That's that's the Roamer uh, control menu. It says server is off. Question mark for help. So you know I mean I can for instance. Uh, M, enter LCD message. Apparently it says testing, testing. Uh, it says testing, testing. Uh, all right. And I press enter twice. All right, now it says unit surplus. And it's kind of cool, but you know, kind of useless too. Well, not completely useless, but silly. So control shift, six. Question mark. Now I can R resets a server. P turns the server on. So that's P. Are you sure? Yes. So the server is now on. Uh, so the next step is to configure uh, the serial console on the uh, in the BIOS on this server. You see, that's why I'm getting the, um, the funny characters. That's because this server is set to 57600, and uh, we have this set to 9600. Now the the roamer is set to 9600, so the roamer is working. I can hit Control Shift Six. I get my roamer menu, everything's happy. But uh, but I'm not getting any of the serial console redirection here that I want. So to do that, uh, here, I'll, I will, I'll plug the rackable into the monitor and we will configure the, the uh, serial redirection. Now normally when you do serial console redirection you use the onboard serial port which you could do here too. This is usually COM1, the motherboard header that the uh, roamer is plugged into is COM port 2. 